have an alligator just show up out of nowhere. Well, you know, they, they do they do like the warmer weather, so you better watch out. Yeah, that's why you know, I'm not looking forward to it. You know, like that gator, I'm going to be gone. So <laughs> talking about that warmer weather looking like for us for the weekend. Uh, yeah, today is going to be a warm, warmer day than yesterday, and then tomorrow is going to be the warmest day actually of the next seven. Here's a look at clouds and radar right now. We've got an area of clouds in our far northwestern areas uh, from Smith and Henderson counties points northward. They've actually been able to squeeze out at least a few showers. Again, uh, not sure if that's actually making it to the ground. Haven't seen reports out of there just yet, but certainly it looks like a few sprinkles may be a possibility in parts of Hopkins, Rains and Wood counties over the next few minutes here, but nothing really too heavy expected and certainly not going to be anything severe. That has stopped the warming for the northwestern areas in the low 70s and Mineola and Sulphur Springs. We've still been able to warm into the upper 70s in Tyler, but expect the warming to slow down as long as these clouds are still here. Where we have the sunshine, though, it's upper 70s, even some low 80s, 80 degrees in Longview, 82 in Henderson, and 81 in Jacksonville. Forecast highs for today will be climbing into the middle and upper 80s out there. Maybe a little bit cooler now in our far northwestern areas like Mineola and Sulphur Springs and the numbers you see on the screen because of that cloud cover. But for the most part, expect the temperatures to be in the middle and upper 80s out there. Over the next seven days, temperature wise, the normal high is 84 degrees. We are going to be above that today and especially tomorrow. Like I said, tomorrow is the warmest day of the next seven, but we get a cold front moving in just as quickly and that will knock down the temperatures for the weekend. And honestly, Saturday and Sunday not looking too bad out there. Temperature wise, uh, definitely a good weekend to get outside and do outdoor activities before we have to settle with the uh, nonstop humidity once we get into the summer months. We will start to warm up as we head into next week. With that cold front, though, on Friday, it will bring a risk of strong to severe thunderstorms. We've got the level two out of five slight risk in place for a majority of East Texas. Deep East Texas has a marginal risk level one out of five. Basically, all this means we all have a chance of seeing severe weather. The better chances, though, are in the yellow area. In terms of the breakdown of the severe weather threat, 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts, the primary concern, followed by uh, large hail, potentially a bit larger than quarters, flash flooding and tornado threats are both low, but still not zero. So make sure to uh, stay weather aware regardless of any of how high the tornado threat is. Number one, because again, a tornado still is possible. It's unlikely, but it's possible. And number two, sometimes the straight line winds can do just as much damage as a tornado. But taking a look at what Futurecast has through the remainder of today, we'll see partly cloudy skies out there, and that will continue through the overnight time frame and into your Friday morning. We should be dry Friday afternoon, though, shower and storms develop first off to our west and then they'll move into East Texas. Futurecast actually keeps uh, most of us dry during the Friday night hours. We'll definitely hope that happens for our chances for severe weather because in that case, of course, it would be lower, but it's something we'll continue to keep an eye on through about midnight or so. After midnight, we may still see a few showers and thunderstorms, but the severe weather threat overall should be winding down and then we'll uh, see potentially some more showers and a thunderstorm or two develop heading into Saturday day, primarily into deep east Texas. But to recap our forecast for today, we are going to climb into the upper 80s to middle 80s out there, maybe some low 80s in our far northwestern areas. For tonight, we are going to drop down to the mid 60s with some passing clouds. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to uh, dry things out on Saturday and through the rest of the weekend and the start of next week. We're dry with isolated showers returning again for the day on Wednesday and warming temperatures in store then as well. For deep east Texas, it's more of the same climate all the way up to 91 on Friday. For your latest weather forecast, you can head on over to our website.